Hey YouTube, it's Lisa back again for the Speech Fairies and I wanted to show you a fun game that I found um, for some speech and language sessions. I'm a speech language therapy assistant and the speech pathologists write goals that I follow and it's up to me to find fun activities to work on those goals. So I found this monster smash game which I thought was so cute and colorful and who doesn't like Play-Doh? Um, and again, I found it at our local Value Village, which is one of my favorite stores to buy therapy materials. So it was $4.99 and um, it has all its pieces. It pretty much looked brand new. I don't really like spending $4.99, but it actually was complete and very new. So I don't know if anyone ever even played this game. So for me, games that are portable and adaptable um, and functional that are they're my favorite kind of games. So this one I thought I probably wouldn't play the way it was designed so I like to adapt my games based on the time that I have with preschoolers is short so I have to make the most of my time with them. So board games I actually don't play very often because they're they take too long um, to go through. So this one I thought was fun just in itself with the cool boots and shoes that you can see here. I would probably use the word boot more often uh, if I was working on motor speech goals um, for lip rounding and I like the ooh factor. So it actually comes with this cute little alien ship but it's also a spinner so I think you could use this for different things It would be very adaptable. So you could use it for, you could put stickers on any of these spots that you wanted to um, use because I think it's a great spinner. So you can spin and maybe you get, it's pointing to the green, so maybe you make a green alien with your Play-Doh. So just to open it up and show you, there are alien molds inside, so that's cool. And I guess you get to make an alien out of whatever color you spin. And then you're trying to catch up with them if you play with the board game. You're trying to catch up with them on those black spots there. So that's where you put your aliens that you make. And you make your way around the board with the um, cool boots and shoes and slippers, I believe, that bunny slipper. Um, and then you try to, whoever's the first to smash their monster wins. So for me, I think I would just use it for making aliens. <laughs> and stomping them. So for me, I was thinking S blends would be a great goal for this toy. So I found a bunch of words that I would use for S blends. So I thought spin, of course, um, smush, smash, step, spot. So if you wanted to play with the board game, you could do, you step on different colored spots. Um, the other one would, was Stomp, um, of course Spin, which I already said, and Stuck. So maybe there's some, some sticky stuff stuck on the bottom of your boot when you're done smashing the aliens. Anyway, I just thought that was a really cool, fun, portable, because all I would bring would be the Play-Doh, the Spinner Spaceship, oh space is another good word and um, the boots and shoes and that's all you'd need just in a little ziploc bag very portable if you're working at the school board and you don't want to store all the box and all the and the play mat the play mat might be nice just to protect your table anyway lisa again from the speech fairies trying to find some thrifty fun activities uh, for anybody that's working with children and on their speech and language goals for parents and for clinicians. So I hope you have a very nice day and don't forget to have fun. Thanks. Bye.